the Ella project came about for the need to have a different type of canine that we could use in the Eastern Cape. A bloodhound or bloodhound cross like Ella has the ability to follow an older track. In some instances we come across rhino that have been poached several hours, maybe even half a day before anyone finds them. And we needed that ability to be able to track that scent until it gets to the point where it's hot enough for the other dogs to be able to come in uh, and potentially apprehend those poachers. Thankfully, yeah, we fell in love really in the first few minutes. I'm always a fan of a dog with ball drive. So we started testing her and playing around and everything and she had awesome ball drive. I'm absolutely confident that she is going to be a huge asset and a, a wonderful tool to help combat uh, the rhino poaching problem. People are very aware of sort of the, the bloodhounds with their, their good smell sense. So here we have a, an animal with the ability to keep on. Her training at this stage to date has been foundation obedience and developing and intensifying her ball drive. And then the third aspect is obviously the tracking. She tracks with speed because um, she's that keen to get to the end of it. Where it'll go to from here, she will have much older tracks prepping her for uh, her final deployment date. Ella will be ready around February 2017. With that deployment goes another month of training where she'll spend time on a game reserve. Her role is not just important as a response to a poaching incident, but she is equally as important in being a presence out there. The presence of a dog that is well trained, well disciplined and has a skill set that is revered by poachers, that places a really important layer of protection around these animals. She is a culmination of support from Medivet in the UK who are funding this project, uh, the Wilderness Foundation and then the Chip and Berrana Foundation in South Africa, a country that now looks after more than three quarters of the world's rhino. We do not have the capacity to solve this crisis by ourselves. We need that international community, that international support. And so we are extremely grateful for all the work that is going on abroad through Medivet, not only to raise awareness, but also to provide us with vital funds so that we can implement projects like Ella, the tracking dog. Without the support of Medivet, none of this would be possible. So it's a huge thanks to, to Medivet uh, with their ongoing support. This just brings a whole new element to the canine program. I'm very well aware of how passionate Medivet clients are about their own pets, but also about the wider issues related to animal welfare and the illegal wildlife trade. Your continued and growing involvement in this very worthwhile cause will be are of huge benefit to the project on the ground, but if you continue to share your passion with your friends, your colleagues, your family back home in the UK, that will continue to raise awareness of the problem and that can only ultimately lead to a long-term solution.